let's see how zones can be used in a different way to create a more interesting and expressive performance by stacking up samples. So what I'm doing this time is taking three conga samples from the browser, which are all the same pitch, but with a slightly different sound, and then I'll drag them to the zones area, and I'll keep them mapped across the whole keyboard, which will mean that when we play any note, we get all three samples sounding together. Now though, I'm going to switch to the velocity section. By the way, if you need to make this section larger, you can use the context menu to make sure you can see as much of it as you need to. So now what we have is the velocity range 0 to 127 for each sample, meaning you could have it so that when you reach one velocity amount, the sample changes. So with those piano samples before, we could have louder piano samples on the same note, so that playing a note on your MIDI keyboard creates a louder sound, as it would on a real piano. We're going to do the same sort of thing here, as some of these conga samples sound like they're being created by harder hits. So if I set the middle one so it comes in after a bit, and then the loudest one right at the end, and the smaller bar above each range allows a fade in or out to be created, which makes the samples blend into each other for even more realism. So now this sample is fading in, and then the quietest one is fading out, and the loudest one is only coming in on notes with the highest velocity. To demonstrate this, I've got a clip here that has fast repeating notes that are increasing and then decreasing in velocity. So when I play it, you'll see the marker moving up and down on the zones display, and how each sample is triggered as a result. And I also increase the volume velocity slider in the global section so the level goes up and down even more as the velocity changes as well. And now I've made a nice pattern in a new clip to go with my beat, which has the main notes in the upper velocity regions going up and down a bit so that the sound is more varied and interesting. And then I've added lower level notes on each 16th in between, which I've made go up and down a bit too. And also manually shifted the timing so they're not exactly on the beat. With a bit of reverb now, this actually creates quite a natural sounding loop. <laughs> 